Hello everyone, my name is Michael and welcome back to this Puppeteer tutorial series. In this video I'm going to show you how you can save your cookies locally and then reuse them in your Puppeteer application whenever you want. So a great usage for that will be, for example, you want to log into a website once and then whenever you visit that website again or whenever you rerun your Puppeteer app you want to reuse the cookies so you don't have to log in again. So let me show you how you can do that. So I'll be using my code from my GitHub repo and I'll create a new file. You can download my updated GitHub repo, which will also have this episode code down in the description. And I'll create a file called cookies.js. And here we will run our code for today. So first of all, let me copy a Puppeteer template. And now in this video, we will try to log into Gmail, then successfully log in, save the cookies and then reuse the cookies. So let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, I'll copy paste the link that we used to, to connect to our Google account. And here, let's replace screenshot. Now let me grab this one and, and let's code each step to log in. So first of all, we will do, actually, first of all, we will wait the page to fully load and we will do that by saying oh, wait until and then network idle 2 then we will type actually we have to do our username first then we'll click next then we have to wait for navigation then we will type our password we will click next again we will wait for navigation and then we will save cookies we will get the cookies we will console the log them so for now let's console the log them and we will do the rest later headless to false so you can see what the application does and i'm not sure if those are correct yet those are generated from copilot so let's test if it did work so let's open the terminal new terminal and then let's run node cookies.js okay so you open that you put the email and then it says node is either not clickable or not an html element let's see what is what's the selector for the password and and then let's just copy the selector so copy and then copy the selector and paste it there we go um let's do wait until and then load so let's see what does that mean so let's do a console.log page loaded and if that runs then we have an issue with the selector otherwise wait for navigation doesn't really work so let's do that okay page loaded actually what we can do instead is wait for the selector and we need it to be visible and not hidden so let's do hidden and then put that to false there we go and it doesn't click next which is weird so let's see where's the select for the selector for next okay it's not the same so let's copy selector actually never mind there we go let's copy and then copy selector and let's run it again so it types the password but it doesn't click the button let's remove that let's remove that for now and let's give some timeout so let's say sleep there we go and then sleep and seconds okay so we have to do a wait okay let's put and wait before clicking the button and let's do one second that should probably be more than enough okay can i access sleep okay so that's right so let's put it outside let's define it here there we go so it did click the button it just has to wait for for a bit and as you see it successfully logged in now after waiting for 10 seconds i guess you can do here a wait for navigation but let's put that to be more secu more secured and as you see this is the cookies we get after we log in now what we can do is save them locally so let me show you how we can do that so it's it's very easy so we will just create a cookies.json file and we will save them there so to do that i guess we can first of all define fs and get the promises because we need it to be asynchronous and then below the cookies we will just say fs.write file so we'll create a file and then save the cookies inside those cookies.json file so let's rerun the app so it will put the email the password it will wait for 10 seconds and then here the cookies.json file will be created 
and there we go so here's our cookies now how we can use them let's create a new file to test that out so we'll see cookies and dust test dust js and then let's copy a puppeteer example as well and now here we will add two three lines of code actually so first of all we will define fs before we go to the page we will load the cookies so here we are basically load cookies so what we would do right here is we get the cookies to json asynchronously we define we parse them to json and then we say we use a function from puppeteer that says page.setCookie and then we set the cookies but that's basically multiple cookies and that only accepts one that's why we do that so we basically get the objects immediately let's do headless to false so you can see what is happening and then let's not close the page immediately after visiting the pages because we don't want that so we will run the app and now if we open a new tab as you'll see our account is logged in so yeah that's basically how you can save cookies and then reuse them now apps like google might log you out the next time you try to log in so have that in mind but other websites will basically not do that they are not as secure as google it should work just try it out and let me know down in the comments so yeah that's it for this video let me know if you got any value from this video and if you did hit the like button subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any more future videos also shout out to this viewer that got the idea for this video so yeah if you also have an idea leave it down in the comments so with that said see you in the next video